How to play Incense for the Damned by Electric Wizard. Today I'm using the Matt Pike Nicotine Child 1986 SG Standard. This guitar is loaded up with a set of Lawler DB humbuckers, really high output. It's in B standard tuning with a set of 13 to 56 strings. Since we used a bunch of recent live footage to figure out this song, I thought it would be fun to kind of chase that modern Electric Wizard live tone. We're gonna use the Baghdad preamp here with the Mad Amp section set at zero, so depth and drive both at zero gives us the full Soldano SLO style lead channel. And then we'll run this preamp directly into this old Carvin FET 401 power amp. The power amp is running into an eight ohm load, so it's 150 watts. And then to complete that modern era live Electric Wizard guitar tone, we're gonna use a Behringer SF300, which is of course a clone of the classic Boss FZ2. And we're gonna run it on boost mode directly into the Baghdad preamp. Follow along with this lesson and every other lesson on the channel on both guitar and bass using our interactive Guitar Pro and printable PDF tabs over at patreon.com slash does it doom. It's free to join for seven days. Check out the entire library, download some tabs, I'll stick around if you like it and cancel if you don't. All right guys, so once again, we're in B standard tuning here. This song uses a bunch of modulation in terms of keys. So if we were in standard tuning, the first riff here would be in the key of A minor using the A harmonic minor scale. But because we were tuned down five semitones, we were actually in E minor using the E harmonic minor scale. And it uses the root, the minor third, and the major seventh. <laughs> Then we're gonna modulate to the key of C, rooted here on the first fret six string. Again, in standard tuning, this would be the key of F, but because we are tuned down five semitones, key of C. So you can see same riff, same intervals, just modulated to a lower key. Root, minor third, and then the open here, which is the major seventh. Then we're gonna get into the main riff of the song here, and it starts at the 12th fret, six string, so we're in the key of B here. Starting out with single notes, it goes like this.
So really cool riff there, very Electric Wizard in my mind. It uses what is kind of the Dorian mode. You've got this minor sixth here and also uses this chromatic kind of walk down from the 12th to the 11th to the 10th, which is again, very Electric Wizard. So we're not actually getting to the perfect fifth here, uh, but we are walking down from the root to the major seventh to the flat seventh. One thing I should mention is they kind of slide into that 12th fret. For the next riff here, we are back to the harmonic minor scale, but this time we are rooted at the 12th fret on the sixth string, so the key of B minor. Then we modulate down here to root it at the eighth fret. Now in standard tuning, this would be the key of C minor, but because we're tuned down five semitones, we are in the key of G minor. That takes us to our final riff here. Again, harmonic minor scale modulating keys. So we're gonna start in the key of B and then we're gonna move back to that key of G. So with the power chords, it goes like this. Bends. With single notes just as doing this. Open notes. Trilling between that major seventh and the root. I would say just kind of alternates if you watch the live footage. Some, sometimes he's doing those open notes. Sometimes he's just bending single notes on the 12th fret. Sometimes he's doing power chords, kind of mix it all together. <laughs> Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new lessons or demos. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon. The very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For another lesson just like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.